So I'm here at the community garden in Sackville, New Brunswick, and I'm going to show you today just how to get your plot ready to plant. So the plots are all covered in straw. We did that in the fall uh, just as a way of basically tucking in the garden, uh, giving it a little bit of protection over the winter so the soil doesn't wash away in any rain or snow. And so the straw can be removed at this point. Um, if you want to use the straw again as a mulch once your plants have come up and you put plants in, feel free to. Um, but we're just going to take it off for now and remove it from the bed. And there's a couple of spots around to put it. Uh, there's one by the front gate and there's another one over here in the food forest. So uh, look for a big pile of straw and then add yours to it. And then again, feel free to take it later. So I'm just going to use a rake and I'm just going to remove the straw from the bed. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because this isn't my bed. So I'm just doing somebody a favor here. So once you've removed the straw from your bed, you can have a look at the soil. And the soil at the community garden is in really great shape, I would say. We've added compost uh, every year for many years. And it's really nice, has a lot of organic matter, has a lot of worms in it. And that is really exciting and makes it a really fertile medium to grow. That said, it also grows a lot of weeds. So the first thing that you want to do is pick out any of the perennial weeds that are in the garden. So I'm seeing some dandelions here and I'm going to use a small trowel and I'm going to pull them up as much as I can. And you want to get as much of the taproot as you can. And this is maybe your first harvest from your community garden plot. You can take home the dandelion greens and even the roots and eat them for dinner. So pull these up and then look for other weeds that might be coming up. I'm seeing some horsetail and at this point nothing's been planted so you don't have to play the eternal game of is it a weed or did I plant it here? You know that anything that's here is going to be a weed. I don't really want to dig it any further. What I'm going to recommend this year is called a no-till method. So instead of adding compost and digging the compost into the soil, we're just going to add the compost on top. All right, so here's our new compost pile. This is a composted manure and shovels pretty easily. And I would say like one nice wheelbarrow load, not all the way full, will be enough to put a couple of inches on your entire bed. So you can fill it up over here and then bring it over to where your plot is. All right, Ooh. so I've got a wheelbarrow load of compost here and then I'm going to shovel it onto the bed. So instead of mixing it in, we're just going to put a layer of compost right on the surface. There's a lot of weed seeds in the garden soil just from the environment around the garden. So creating just an even layer of compost on top is going to keep those seeds from germinating and is going to be something that's really good to just plant your seeds and transplant into. Uh, it's a really nice rich compost uh, and there's a lot of support for the plants as they grow. So I'll shovel some of it and then I'll just tip the wheelbarrow all the way in. And then using a rake, I'm just going to create a nice smooth, flat seed bed to plant into, whether you're planting seeds or planting transplants. And this is called a no-till method. So I'm not taking a shovel and digging it in and mixing the soil. The soil doesn't need that. It's nice and healthy. There's a lot of soil structure built up over time. So now your bed's ready to go. Time to plant and take care of your garden for the rest of the season. Have fun. <laughs>